What's up guys, as a request I'm going to review a video called What I Eat On A Day Being A Fruitarian by Kali Mussel. It's this bodybuilder who had a heart attack and from what I understand he's afraid of eating meat now. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you, y'all? We about to get this our crackies hooked up. You know what I mean? We gotta stay fitted when we go to events and stuff. We gotta look good in our crackies, you know? Yeah. This is our boy over here, Justin, about to hook it up. Man. I told you we'd be back. Oh yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you man. Got you some crackies cookies. Oh hell yeah. Well, seven Ooh. of them up in there. Oh, that's the best one. I, I had one the other day. I had, I had, oh, you never had. All right, so they eat grains like slaves. That we already know. <laughs> this is way worse than the Sam Selleck video because there's just nothing whatsoever going on in this video. Nothing. It's the most boring video I've ever reviewed so far. I hate dates, they are absolutely disgusting, especially because of how sweet they are, but the taste in general is really off-putting. Especially dried dates. Fresh dates aren't even so bad, but uh, dried fruit in general, ugh, it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. This is heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful they are too. This is a, I, I was saying, this is a fresh fruit. That's a fresh. Wait, what? Wait, wait, no, wait, what? He just said fresh, no, wait, let me see what he means. True, it's not dried. Wait, what? 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 I really can't tell if he's joking or if he's challenged in some way. Mmm. This whole thing will get took down. Yeah, thanks, dog. Wow. Oh, that's so hard. Yeah. The crackies, boy. That's the. I love that. This is the first video I've ever seen by Kalima, so and even though I've only watched a few minutes of it, I can for sure tell that he's suffering from brain damage. I don't say that to offend him. It's simply an observation. 100%, there's no doubt about it. He can hardly even form coherent sentences. Cracking, boy, how I'm looking. Amazing. Man, I think this one we had employees wear. I want to wear the green one. That, <laughs> that, that's so sick. Uh-huh. That's so airy. Does everybody know? You know, we like nice shirts, right? But we... we we had to step it up. We had to get a top of the line stuff, right? Look what he did to Crackies, man. Stitching, right? Look at this. Come on, man. Stitching. So the link will be in the description. Seminole Embroidery. Make sure you hit him up. And hey, don't don't be thinking you're going to get an extra discount because you say Kali Muscle, all right? This stuff is uh, well worth every penny. Top of the line. What is Crackies referring to? A crack addict? Because he was or still is a drug addict? It's kind of like a joke. Hey, you're uh, buying stuff from a drug addict, crackies? Uh, I don't know what else it's supposed to mean. Man, hook this up. Lovely. It's your time. Yes, it's time for you to win something in your life. And guess what you can win? This GT500 of 2022. This is really painful to watch. Wow. Obviously, if you damage your heart, you will also damage your brain. You're literally watching a guy with very severe brain damage on YouTube. Oh, it's really sad. And uh, even to get into bodybuilding and using so many drugs, you already have to be a certain way. And then to switch from that, which is insanely unhealthy, to a fruitarian diet, there's no way that you would coincidentally choose the unhealthiest lifestyles on earth. Yo, 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 yo. What's up with everybody? It's your boy here, Kali Muscle. And uh, I'm here, man. I'm here. You know what I mean? The watermelon fast is over. I'm here, man. I'm here. You know what I mean? Man, this is Joe Biden level. But uh, we still on our fruit mission, on a fruit diet, on a fruitarian uh, path. And uh, today I'm going to juice some, uh, have an H I'm going to juice some yellow watermelon, cucumber, apple. Y'all yeah, please, please forgive my background, kids. Out of school today, going crazy. He has children? That's nice, but uh, 
every bodybuilder doesn't care about his children. No bodybuilder on earth or anybody who runs marathons or exercises in any way can in any way say that they care about their children. You hate your children, or at the very least, you do not care about them whatsoever. You do not care that they're not going to grow up with a father. It doesn't matter when you die, you're going to die prematurely. So if you're a bodybuilder who uses steroids, you don't care about your children whatsoever because uh, your children want you to be around. That's all that they care about. They don't care about how many muscles you have whatsoever. If anything, they find it disgusting just like everybody does. The only thing that a child cares about is that his father is there. So if you do bodybuilding and reduce your lifespan on purpose, then it's the same as leaving your children. You are leaving your children by doing that. Very simple. The great seed the great city is. And uh, Mike bust this open. Have you ever ate a mango steam? It's lit. It is lit. So the watermelon fast went good, man. Um, most epic event in my life I ever did, man. I wanted to go longer, but I wasn't getting any sleep. So that was a big issue for me. And in order to regenerate your organs, which I want my heart to regenerate, uh, as well as people don't know, when you do fast, your body, if it's going to... Wait, wait, wait. You want your heart to regenerate? And that's why you eat a fruitarian diet? Man-made fruit, some of which is obviously full of pesticides, all of the fructose. That's terrible for your heart. You're eating an unnatural diet. If you want your heart to regenerate and eat heart. To starvation mode and eat old muscle, old cells. And so with me, uh, I have, uh, they said some dead muscle. To Look, he can't even set up his camera right. Half of his face is almost cut off. Issue <laughs> in my heart. So, you know, a lot of people... Man, the first issue that you should focus on is your brain. Your brain, man. Speculating, just talk what they don't know, they hear people talk about. But you gotta know and you gotta talk to scientists, doctors. If you don't know research and study, like I didn't know a lot. I'm still learning, almost 50 years old, still learning, man. Um, have a broad mind, broad perspective. I never think I know it all. That's why I'm still progressing in life. You know, um, the reason I'm where I am because I love humanity. I don't, everybody have their- That makes zero sense. You did everything to destroy yourself, which means that you hate humanity. By default, there's no way to argue that. If you do something to kill your own human body, then you hate humanity, that's it. You're not trying to learn anything because otherwise you could easily look into eating naturally and start eating animal organs. Then you could actually heal from all of the damage you've done to yourself. Time for their awakening. We can't, you could be on dope, you could be on bad food. Like I used to do the mukbangs. I used to be in the street shooting it up and robbing and stealing it, doing everything in prison, eating top robbing. Like I've been through it all, you know, pimping and all, selling dope, I done did it all, right? Everybody go have their awakening. So you, everybody gotta be patient with your family. Like I didn't force my family to do the watermelon fast. And it just irks me when it irked me when I see him eat chicken. Or he did a watermelon fast. Watermelon only has um, sugar and water, some electrolytes, very little. Obviously, these are man made watermelons which don't exist in nature. Natural watermelons look way different. He can starve himself like that because he still has muscle which he can consume while fasting, but uh, that's not gonna last. Me or something because I don't do it. You know what I mean? I haven't did it in over a year. Uh, I was eating fish before I started the fast. Then I learned about fish and uh, how it's detrimental to the human body. How is fish detrimental to the human body? Come on, please explain, man. So it's just uh, stages in life you have to learn, man. Hopefully you learn before you die. And then same went for me, I, you know. You haven't learned anything. You eat a fruitarian diet which doesn't have over 15 micronutrients. Almost died, and that's when I had my somewhat awakening, but I really didn't... You had no awakening whatsoever, man. You're as deep asleep as you possibly could be. He probably learned some garbage from the doctors. that You shouldn't be eating fish, cholesterol, and who knows what. The completely wrong information about heart attacks. I didn't wake up until I started eating once a day. And I thought, you know, what I was eating was healthy. It was salmon and, um, I was eating salmon and spinach for you. Spinach is super unhealthy. It's very high in oxalates. You're going to get kidney stones. Salmon is healthy as long as it's wild salmon, which you're not going to find anyway. Nowadays, you're going to find the farm garbage, which is probably what he ate. And that isn't healthy. Here's straight. 
and I was holding my weight and, you know, but I was in a search to be the healthiest I can be. So that's the key, man. And, you know, like, like the old people used to say, I'm going to die in something, you know what I mean? And we all, the ultimate thing is we all go die in this ultimately, you know, means nothing. Unless there is a heaven and hell, you know what I mean? But other than that, ultimately we're doing all this, you know, for what? For me is to live as long as I can. That's why I'm doing what I can do. Uh, then you need to start eating raw animal organs and drinking blood. That's how you're going to live the longest. That's what the elite consume. Whereas now you're eating slave food, the worst kind of diet. As I said, the only reason he can pull it off is because he still has a lot of muscle which he can consume while starving, aka fasting. That's all that happens. You simply eat yourself up. Uh, you know, I've been given a second leaf whole life. I had a widow make a heart attack. You could Google that. That's one of the worst heart attacks you could have. If you don't get to the hospital in soon enough time, it uh, kills your muscle, kills your heart muscle. A lot of it. So I'm fortunate to be here, guys. This fast, and I'm gonna be fasting all the time. I'm about to do uh, anywhere from a three to a five day water fast, and I'm gonna die. That is really dumb because actually a lot of people who do water fasts because of the loss of electrolytes get heart attacks. There's incredibly many cases of it. Hey, the grapes cure that uh, cancer and all that stuff, man. The grapes, man, cure the cancer, man. What is he talking about? So yeah, but yeah, y'all, I had to throw away all these, y'all. Cause guess what they got on it? Sunflower oil, citric acid. Look, I had- Sunflower oil? Yes, incredibly bad for your arteries. That's a good thing he did. Everybody try to hold on to those addictions. I love my this, I love my that. My oils and my yeah, I gotta have it. My protein and yeah. Y'all just addicted, bro. They got you. What are you talking about? Addicted to oils? Nobody even likes the taste of seed oils. They just eat garbage which has seed oils added to the food. And uh, how are you addicted to protein? Protein is essential to life. <laughs> you know what I mean? They got you what you know you want. This fruit's so weird but good, man. Who had that? Y'all had the mangosteen, boy. Mangosteen, that's my favorite fruit, by far. Mangosteen. Mmm! Dr. Bobby! This is really bad. It's sad. As I said, he can't even form coherent sentences anymore. He talks really slowly. His brain just doesn't function anymore whatsoever. And that's why he went on a fruitarian diet. It's not necessarily the worst kind of diet. You could be on, seeing as he's not consuming seed oils, which are incredibly bad for your heart. He understands that, but the only reason he's even surviving on the fruitarian diet is because he's consuming himself. That's what all fruitarians do. That's why they end up looking so incredibly malnourished and emaciated. He's now consuming his own muscle. He doesn't have much body fat to consume. And obviously that's not gonna last. He's gonna be losing more and more muscle until he looks more and more like a vegan fruitarian. He already looks like a vegan. He already looks really malnourished, but he still has the muscle from the drugs, which is why people don't take it as seriously anymore. I don't think that people are that concerned about him, but uh, I don't know. I hope that they are. They will be soon enough. Thanks for watching.